Now let's prove 1 plus cosine x is equal to sine squared x all over 1 minus cosine x. Obviously, this side is more complicated, so this is the side that I'm going to simplify. And by simplifying the numerator, I could change it by using factoring. I know that 1 minus cosine squared x is a special square of binomial that I can factor out. So by squaring or by factoring special squares of binomial, if I have a squared minus b squared, you can factor it out or split it into two by multiplying a plus b and a minus b. And this is the principle that I'm going to use to change my numerator. So now I have 1 minus cosine x times 1 plus cosine x, which I know I can simplify because I can cancel 1 minus cosine x and 1 minus cosine x, leaving me with 1 plus cosine x. Therefore, I prove my identity by using the factoring method that I used on the first step. So 1 plus cosine x is equal to 1 plus cosine x. Now for my fourth example, I have cosine theta all over 1 plus sine theta plus 1 plus sine theta all over cosine theta, and I need to prove it that it's equal to 2 secant theta. The first Side, the side right here is more complex, so that's why I'm going to simplify this fraction part right here. And my first instinct is to add the fraction, and that is what I'm going to do. So I added the fraction, so I have cosine squared theta plus 1 plus sine theta quantity squared all over the product of the denominator. Now, my second term right here, which is 1 plus sine theta, is squared, so I can expand it using multiplication of two binomials. So I have 1 plus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta that I will multiply. So 1 times 1 will give me 1, and then 1 plus sine theta is equal to sine theta, and sine theta plus 1 is also equal to sine theta, so I have 2 sine theta in my middle term. And sine theta plus sine theta will give me sine squared theta, and this will be my simplest form for my two binomials. And by doing so, I can see that cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta right here can be combined to be changed into 1. Because by Pythagorean identity, I know that I can simplify these two terms right here so that I can change it into 1. Now my fraction is a little bit more or less complicated by using the Pythagorean identity. Now, I haven't proved that this fraction is equal to 2 secant theta because obviously they're not the same. So I'm going to need more steps in simplifying this side of the equation to make it look like 2 secant theta. Now remember, we're trying to prove that this fraction is equal to 2 secant theta, and we left with this last step right here from the last slide. So I know that I can combine 1 and 1 because they're like terms. So I'm going to add them together. And 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, giving me 2 plus 2 sine theta all over 1 plus sine theta times cosine theta. Now I still can't cancel any of the denominator because there's no like terms on the numerator. So I can factor out the numerator by factoring out 2 outside and I'll be left with 1 plus sine theta in my numerator. And by doing so, I can cancel now 1 plus sine theta, leaving me with 2 over cosine theta. And by this fraction right here, using the reciprocal identity of cosine theta, I know that 1 over cosine theta is simply cosecant theta. So I have proved the identity by using my um, reciprocal identity. So 2 cosecant theta is now equal to 2 secant theta. Now for this example, I'm going to prove the identity using a different approach. In this case, since I am seeing two fractions, I can, I can use cross multiplication to simplify my identity. And by doing so, 1 minus sine t times 1 plus sine t will give me 1 plus sine t times 1 minus sine t, and cosine t times cosine t will give me cosine squared t. Now, this one will be my more complicated um, identity which I need to simplify that I need to make it look like cosine squared t and by doing so I will simply multiply these two together so I will have 1 plus sine t minus sine t equal to sine squared t equal to cosine squared t and by 
Canceling these two terms right here, I will end up with 1 minus sine squared t equal to cosine squared t, which I know from my Pythagorean identity, 1 minus sine squared t is equal to cosine squared t, which makes, makes it equal to this side of the equation. So therefore, we prove that 1 plus sine t all over cosine t is equal to cosine t all over 1 minus sine t by using a different method, such as cross-multiplication.